Hello. Many of the world's best architecture buildings will never exist and stood the test of time if people did not plan to detail. Neither would Mona Lisa in Paris, nor will the most famous uh, architectural designs around the world exist. Similarly, many of the people around the world never truly reach their potential. Why? Because fears, doubts, depression, addictions, stresses, and everything that comes by experiencing life can actually truly stop you from reaching the true potential of your divinity. According to some of the research, around only 3% of people in the world truly achieve what they plan to achieve. And this is why they step and become the giants of this world that we love, we adore, we want to learn from. And this is what happened to me. I was born in a small town in Gostiva, Northern Republic of Macedonia. I was a child with big dreams, experiencing so many different adversities. And I always wondered, why is it that some people become those heroes that we actually love and others end up spending their entire life in pain, never realizing there is another way of living, another way of doing, another way of being, and another way of serving humanity. Now, over the years, I have actually overcome loneliness, I have overcome bullying, uh, atrocities of a civil war, uh, being homeless, uh, being uneducated, and therefore go to one of the top uh, engineering universities in the UK, and then built a career uh, in technology and run multi-million and multi-billion pound technology transformation programs. And in 2009, I had this one of the many awakenings that happened in my life. I really wanted to integrate all of the learnings, the research, the data, the, the books that I've read, the training programs that I've uh, attended, and create a unique formula to help people maximize their divinity. And that means their mental capabilities, their emotional capabilities, their spirituality, their business, their career, their social life, but also their relationship, as well as basically being called to do something bigger than themselves, to truly give themselves permission to reach their greatest heights. Which brings me, why is it that 97% of people in the world never really get there? And in trying to answer this why for the last 30 years, I came up with unique processes that actually can help people, can help you truly transform yourself, your relationship, your career, your business, and wealth, and socially, especially when it comes to clarifying your vision for life. And what is it you, that you want to leave behind? What is your legacy? And what is it that you truly want to achieve? So why vital planning? Why 10 years ago I wanted to put this together? Well, the reason I wanted to put this together because I started to really look to solve bigger problems. And I wanted to solve problems for every individual, but also for authors, for coaches, for mentors, for uh, scientists, for doctors, for government leaders, celebrities, royals, you name it, I've done it. And some of the common patterns that happen, I put them into paints of transient persona. And the reason I'm saying transient persona because every label we put on ourselves is due to the labeling we have received in the environment in which we have been conditioned to think in a very limiting ways about who you are and why you are here, for what purpose. So I would love to start on a business level because a lot of my clients run businesses, small, medium-sized, large businesses. And if you're not careful, the bigger you grow, the greater the problems and the predicaments and the challenges of the business can become. And if you don't have a plan to actually address them, your business can collapse. Or in fact, the profits you are making, you'll be investing back those profits to actually firefight every problem 
that gets created, whether or not senior management or lower down in your business where the productivity of the business is impacted. So issues would be such as unclear vision and mission, which goes and filters down all the way to your employers. Then poor employee engagement. We've seen the statistics. If you are a business owner, you know what happens in your business. Then we have increased absenteeism, where basically people don't show up and it ends up costing you millions and billions of pounds of money globally. Then we have people being dissatisfied with their jobs. Then we're looking at poor time management. Time is one of the greatest assets we as individuals, but also as a business that we have. Then we're looking at stress performance issues, employee conflicts, communication issues, decline in sales, leadership and retention issues, as well as fear of success, failure, and unclear business strategy, business processes, and what is it the business they're trying to achieve in one year, three year, five year, 10 year, and 50 years. And most businesses I work, they have a very limited vision, as well as being able to filter uh, that vision and those values of the uh, executives in every layer of the company. Now, everybody wants money. In every event that I have spoken, every person deep down, they want to be rewarded. And that reward also comes in form of abundance and force of money. So people normally would complain they don't have enough money. Uh, also, they can spend it easily without even thinking how to actually generate multiple types of income. So their spending does not exceed their earning. Then we have problems attracting clients, problems attracting money. Then we have people who actually do have money but end up gambling it and they end up creating more worry. Then we have people who actually, you may be stressed around your wealth and wealth building. And that could really impact your physiology, your psychology and your emotions. And most of the people I have helped with, they actually start earning wealth, but deep down they have the fear of losing it. Now, we can go into the different aspects of it, love, spiritual, relationship, social, mental, career, and well-being. I'm gonna mention a couple more, which is on the mental level, people have the pains of not having clarity, not knowing what they want, but also negative self-talk. They'll have a head full of noise. Every time I work with a client, the first thing I see and I observe, not only in their human energy field, which I talk more about in my book, Hashtag Loneliness, but also how they can't even sleep, they develop insomnia, stress, and before you know it, actually they go down the road of becoming extremely ill. So, then we're looking at limiting beliefs about what's possible for them. And in this 10 days of transformational program, which is custom made for you, we're gonna be looking at all of those pains specifically to you. And on mental level, you actually deep down know you're not living your highest values. And also people end up having a lot of mental health issues. And I've worked with clients such as people with OCD, epilepsy, and other mental issues that basically I imply and apply the processes I've learned and all the different tools I've gathered to actually really create breakthroughs for my clients according to their specific issues. These are some of the pains that basically will be addressing and generated your custom pains in this 10 inspiring vital planning for elevated living business and life mastery VIP retreat. It is VIP because you will be uh, going anywhere around the world and booking in places such as this, which basically you and I go uh, in a specific location where I set up the training environment, and you end up not only being transformed and taken care of, but actually you start to expand your vision of what's possible. And usually it will be a setup like this, and with different clients, there are different setups, different hotels, there are different setups, but you are guaranteed to be nurtured, body, mind, heart, and soul, and the room will get filled with diagrams like this and writing like this that truly captures who you are. What is it that you want? Why do you want what you want? What kind of time, energy and effort you wanna spend in your dreams? So we can start creating a step-by-step -step clear 
plan that transforms every pain into a purpose and into a profit. And let me explain a bit further. What if you don't do this? Let's say you don't want to act and you don't want to spend the kind of money, the kind of investment you require to spend in yourself to actually transform your reality. So here are some of the effects of non-action. So the effect would be at a business level. Let's say you are a big business, medium or small business, you will lose a lot of opportunities that usually you or your team would not see. Then we're looking about inefficiencies in the business across every department in your business because that's how human energy field works. Invisibly, you will start having inefficiencies. Then it is costly but also impacts other people in your team, in your exec, in your exec team, but also in every area in your business. You could end up having a reputation damage. Then you will your teams or business will get less things done. You'll have low morale, low energy, wasted time, increased complaints. You start to get rid of people, try to replace them, which becomes very costly. Then you have unsatisfied shareholders, not growing and value costly mistakes. And then let's say we are working on a wealth building of yourself as an individual, as a VIP client, as a business owner then we start to observe your limiting choices. Then people tend to give in to their emotions and spend the wealth they work very hard and you work very hard to achieve into things that don't bring long-term fulfillment. Then we have more worry, more stress, and more fears around money. And let's pick up something around the mental side of things, the effect, lack of clarity, negative self-talk, head full of noise, limiting beliefs, career, stuck in daily grind. You're stuck in boredom, frustration, delusionment, stress, lack of time. While being, the impact would be on a poor mental health, loss of vitality, loss of passion, physical issues, anxiety, frustration, and uncontrollable emotions. And let's see how that impacts you as a whole. Because if you are bad in the bedroom, you'll be bad in the boardroom. So, at home, we, uh, many of my clients have experienced breakup issues. Some of them went through divorce. Loneliness, lack of intimacy, lack of sex, pain from the past relationship, losing loved ones, communication breakdown, controlling issues, and differences in masculine and feminine dynamics when one becomes more uh, perceived, more powerful, and therefore the other person becomes very uh, dismissive. So, on a spiritual level, we actually start to give in to existential fears. We have a lack of spiritual connection, and many of you end up with actually trying to find life's meaning because you deep down don't feel that. You end up with no direction, fear of wasting life, fear of death, fear of losing material wealth, fear of losing loved ones, regrets, judgments, and the list goes on. So, this vital planning is truly an all-inclusive 360 degrees zoom to your life. Spiritual, mental, emotional, physical, relationship, social, and your um, spirituality, as well as your abundance in all of the areas of life. Now, no matter who you are, whether you are an executive, a senior uh, business owner, a business owner of six to nine figure business, a celebrity, a celebrity, royal, a professional, or somebody out there who truly has a heart of service and you want to do something incredible with your life, I invite you in those 10 inspiring days. But hold on, this is not all about creating pain, pain, pain for you. It is creating clarity out of that pain. And at the end of this experience, most clients who book those 10 days tend to book two weeks because in the last two days, when you do book two weeks, you end up being rewarded by me and creating most unique experiences that basically your body starts to really appreciate the pain you went through for, and the pleasures you went through for you to truly, truly step in into your greatness, into your divinity. This is Tony J. Selimi, and if this video has inspired you, I welcome you to approach my team by sending an email to alma at info at tonyzalimi.com. 
And for further information, please go to my website at tonysalimi.com, where you will find links to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Twitter, connect with me on LinkedIn, and follow me on various Facebook pages. Thank you.